It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals next on EA Sports. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Arizona's offense takes the field, and no surprises. The man that's guiding them, the pro bowler in his fourth season at the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray had his Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins, despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. Right to the air. Here's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And just a yard to go here on second down. To throw it's Murray going deep for Hopkins well this is taken in it's complete and he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line it's so easy to focus on the speed and elusiveness of Connor Murray but as he shows right there don't sleep on the arm strength and we knew that they tried to attack the secondary but I'm not sure that we thought they'd do it right on the first drive of the game but here they saw an opportunity seized it and it's a big play right off the bat and that one covering an even 63 yards in the air a real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone here's Murray as he sets to throw it caught by the tight end Ertz and he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and six. Now Murray again. Finding Ertz again. 
They'll give him four yards there, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already, I think he's got good touchdown. Kyler Murray fighting Marquise Brown. And the Cardinals get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start. And they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Prater for the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Five plays there on that drive, and it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. When talking about Patrick Mahomes, what's a normal season for him is probably a career year for 99% of the other quarterbacks in the game today. 4,800 yards, 37 touchdowns, and a fourth straight trip to the AFC title game. He is making sure that all of us understand what he is doing is sometimes beyond spectacular, and his team follows accordingly. When he's under center, KC always has a shot. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes on the give to Edward Delaire. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second and six, Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. 
A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards alone. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 30. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Mahomes now on first down. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Mahomes finding Juju there for the Kansas City first. After almost signing with Kansas City last offseason, Juju Smith-Schuster actually left Pittsburgh for KC this year as a free agent. He'll be one of the top targets for KC's offense this year as he chases his second career 1,000-yard season. Always reliable, operating out of the slot. Look for him to catch plenty of balls, as we just saw there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They go back to the ground with Edwards Alaire. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Here's second and two now from the three. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster from three yards out. And the Chiefs respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got extra point by Bucker is target, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taking it at about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And now it's second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. To throw again on second down. Murray, sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On fourth down, here's Andy Lee on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. First down, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And some room to run now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 right at the 40. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he is going to lose yardage here. Throwing on second and 14, Mahomes. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. 
And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now it's Mahomes again. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have moved out in front in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. This is your game, baby. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Murray. Pass incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Murray now. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. It's one play at a time, baby. On first and ten, here's Murray. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Now Murray. He finds Hopkins complete. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is caught inside the five. A huge play there for Arizona. 46 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Connor. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Throwing now is Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Fourth down. Murray off. And the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it.
Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> that's told, what too. I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. Oh, he's trying for Smith-Schuster, but it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. So from the 36 now, first and 10. After the turnover, here's Murray. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again, Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Murray going to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Moore. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Murray now to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one.
Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Shotgun now for Murray. Escaping the pressure. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now 17-14. So that drive goes eight plays, and the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for Kansas City. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, 
to get things going here in the third quarter. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me I, too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, right at the 40. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is caught. Touchdown. Miko Hardman, 34 yards. And the Chiefs have retaken a third quarter lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. First down, Murray. And a catch made by Hopkins. Finding space at the 30. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Here's the option play now to the left. Oh, fancy running by Murray. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. To throw is Murray. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. To throw again on second down, Murray. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed he can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. Murray now on first down. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. Over the middle complete. It's Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. To throw, it's Murray. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in this third quarter. To a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. 
But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Prater on to add the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not been able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 25. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now here's Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Well, that'll help the old passing stats. Remember, it was a pop pass, so it's not a wide receiver run there, Charles. Well, I like the way that you scored it, and that's exactly how it goes into the books. But remember, he's had success throwing the ball the standard way in this game. And here, this little tap pass, it goes for good yardage, a little something extra in his repertoire. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down, back to Edwards Hilaire. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too.
Mahomes now on first down. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Marcus Golden from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. For the third time in his career, we saw Marcus Golden record double-digit sacks. 11 of them in 2021, good for 11th overall in the NFL. Talk about someone who plays with a high motor. This guy is wide open on every snap. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Flushed out right. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. A plenty of scoring here of late. And our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end. So they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Butker on for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. And Murray will run it here. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 18 more yards there and another first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. On the draw, Connor. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Again, a run with Connor. 
And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Murray now caught by the tight end Ertz. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing now is Murray. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown. But when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Here's second and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That is incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and 10. They've got to get after him one more time. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Murray. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball. And right now, I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Now Murray's got to have this one. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. 
And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Kansas City and Juju Smith-Schuster running out for another series. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Free trench to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way... You could get a trade for him, on, bring him over to our team so he's not to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Oh, he's trying for Smith-Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. I don't want to take too much away from his performance throwing the football. He's got the four touchdown passes, but this now a second interception of the ball game. And, partner, part of what's gotten him the four touchdowns is a certain fearlessness. But that fearlessness borders with recklessness, and the latter just occurred. After the turnover, here's Murray. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cards will add to their fourth quarter lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by 10. A minute 47 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Let's go, 
Here's Mahomes. He's got Smith-Schuster. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a pass is taken in by Smith-Schuster. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. Mahomes to throw it. Finding Edwards alone once again. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Mahomes. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. <laughs> 